um, justice. Don't worry, this isn't going to be like some kind of airy fairy uh, rant on the concept of uh, justice. It's just the only word I can think of to tie together the three different topics that I want to discuss in the meager 15 minutes that Google YouTube has allotted me. See, I, I don't make a lot of videos anymore these days, so when I do make one, I've got to cover a lot of ground. Um, London riots. There, there were riots in London. And they're over now, I know, but... Uh, you guys don't have to ask me what I think about that. Anarchist, obviously, so I love it. When when riots happen, That that's like Christmas for us. Um, now, to those who don't know the, uh, the details, you know, you know, all two of you, there was a gentleman by the name of Mark Duggan in Tottenham, which is a borough of London, um, who was shot and killed by the police and they tried to frame him and, and make it out that he fired on them first but then ballistic reports came back later that showed that the bullets they claimed he fired came from their guns and not his and um, you know there was a non-violent protest in in London um, and the cops trunching some uh, 17 year old girl which set everybody off and then riot 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 uh, stores are getting looted, buildings are getting burned down, car fire, oh, those car fires were so good. Oh, got my adrenaline going just looking at it. Um, good, good times, good, good times. Um, now, y y you know, of course the, the Home Secretary and the Prime Minister, um, called the rioters criminals and, and not the, the murderous lying cops, right? That's that's to be expected. But I've also seen a lot of people on the internet saying like, "Oh, the rioters were just, you know, they didn't care about Mark Doug and they just wanted to steal and loot." And you know, let's get real on this for a second. Um, of course, not every person participating in the riot was was like brimming over with compassion for this dead guy they didn't know. They're not all bleeding hearts for uh, Mark Duggan. But from what I gather, uh, Tottenham is like the poor area of London, and there's there's always kind of been friction between the people who live there and the cops, so like the parallels with the L.A. riots are impossible to ignore. So if their only motivation was looting and, and burning shit down, so what? I mean, so what? Good. Good for the, good on good on you, as, as uh, a Londoner might say. Good, good for them. Um, it's good to see it's good to see Brits rioting. I'm glad you guys have it in you. Uh. So to all the London rioters, um, for standing up to the tyranny of the British government, you are now honorary Americans, whether you want to be or not, so I'll get your orientation packages out to you, which will include um, a smartphone, handgun, uh, maybe some cheeseburgers, I don't know. Anyway, um, never let it be said that Brits don't know how to party. Uh, London riots, I support it 100%. Good, good times. Speaking of time, how am I doing? I'm doing great on time. Okay. On to the next topic. Um, the West Memphis Three are out of jail. They're free. After 20 years for a crime they didn't commit, which they were only able to be convicted for without evidence because, um, you know, it was the height of a witch hunt. Moral panic on, on Satanism and occult abuse in the 1980s. Um, well, they're free now, but it's it's kind of bullshit because they had to cop a plea um, whereby, you know, even though they maintain their innocence, they cop a guilty plea in order to get a reduced sentence and get out, and, and that way uh, uh, Damien Eccles doesn't have to get executed. Um, 
So I guess it was the smart decision to make, but they, they probably waived whatever right they would have had to pursue some kind of civil tort um, and sue the state for everything that they're fucking... I mean, these guys lost their childhoods. They lost 20 years of their... the best 20 years of their lives. Um, you know, I think it's reasonable that they should get something for that, and they won't. And, uh, this move is, is obviously an attempt by the courts to save face for an obvious fuck-up, and it, it really just makes them look worse, so I guess that's the one good thing to come out of this, is that it discredits the justice system. It shows how retarded it all is, and then, by the way, chunks of earth, you fucking idiot, this right here is why the death penalty is a bad idea. Since I know you're a death penalty supporter, we talked about that on Blog TV, you're fucking stupid chunks of earth, this is why. This is why. Innocent guy almost died doesn't bother you even a little bit? You know, is that just the exception to the rule? Shut up. Anyway, um... Now on to the next issue, the, the third topic I wanted to discuss, and this one isn't ripped directly from the headlines like the first two. It's, it's actually, uh, something that, that I'm late to the party on, um, but I'm not sure how many people actually know about it. I'm not saying this didn't get media coverage, I'm sure it did, but I think the media probably played it down a little bit, maybe, um, maybe de-emphasized it a little bit. Um, either that or it, it just flew under my radar because I work so hard to ignore the corporate media entirely. Um, maybe it got so much coverage in the, the mainstream corporate media that the alternative media sources I usually depend on didn't feel they needed to say anything. But I just found out about this, even though it happened last year. It's, it's new to me. How many of you guys know that Wesley Snipes is in jail? Wesley Snipes is in jail. Um, he, uh, he reported to, to jail on December 9th of 2010, and his projected release date is July, I want to say 13th of 2013. J July 23rd, 2013? I don't know. But he's, he's going to do three years. He's going to do a three-year uh, sentence. For misdemeanor failure to file on his taxes. Huh? Now, isn't that strange in a, in, in a country where the wealthy are kind of expected to try to get out of paying their taxes. In fact, y you might go so far as to say that the system actually encourages rich people to uh, get out of paying their taxes. And it's it's like a misdemeanor failure to file, yet here the guy is doing three years in jail, and he's not only rich, but he's also a celebrity who traditionally are immune to any kind of um, any kind of punishment, any kind of uh, legal consequences. <laughs> O.G. Simpson, right? Um, and it's it's ridiculous. Uh, what, what, what is the guy serving such a, uh, well, for a celebrity, such a harsh sentence over uh, failure to file? Um, I haven't filed a tax return in, in, God, 15 years, by the way. Maybe longer. Well, the interesting thing, and this is what you might not have heard on the news, is that Wesley Snipes is a sovereign citizen. And if you don't know what the sovereign citizens movement is, uh, feel free to look that up. Sovereign citizens. A lot of you probably haven't heard of them, but you will. They're, they're the hot new domestic terror threat, and I like them. I like them a lot. I, I, I'm not aligned with them. I don't consider myself a, a sovereign citizen. Um, but boy, I like everything about these guys. I really do. Um, and 
apparently Wesley Snipes used a lot of language that the sovereign citizens typically do um, in his, on his tax forms, like he referred to himself as a non-resident alien, um, and he predicated his legal defense on, on arguments that sovereign citizens use, so, uh, uh, tax resistor arguments, in other words, that um, uh, income taxes is, is illegal. It's 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 it has no basis in in uh, law, which um, you know when when you get to this when you get down to the the, the brass tax of of, of uh, tax of the tax resistor uh, issue. What it comes down to is the law is what the powerful say it is. Um, you know, whether the tax resistors are right, whether the feds are right, it's not about who's right or wrong. It's about who has the guns and who has the prisons. That that That's what the law has always been about. And Wesley Snipes feels, and I agree, that he's being made an example of to put the fear of God into anybody who wants to um, reevaluate the direction the United States is going in, maybe steer us back towards first principles a little bit, um, you know, uh, steer us back towards limited government a little bit. I guess, um, I guess by putting someone as high profile as Wesley Snipes in jail, the, the feds are sending a powerful message that that, that won't be tolerated. Um, I hope Wesley is keeping his spirit his spirits up. I'm I'm sure he'll do uh, fine in jail. He's actually uh, I've come to find out uh, proficient in in five different martial arts disciplines. So I'm I'm sure he can hold his own on the inside. But but this is bullshit. Um, you know we have to go three years without another Wesley Snipes movie. Um. I just, y you know, I, I, I think um, if the feds could have arrested um, Charlie Sheen for being a truther, they would have done it. If they could have found some pretext to put him in jail, they would have done it. But since this is a tax issue, it, 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 it's more convenient, more of a convenient excuse to lock the guy up for something that... Um, you know, a, a less politically motivated rich guy would have weaseled his way out of the system for. Um, anyway, just pisses me off. That's all I'm saying. Uh, free Wesley Snipes. Anyway, it seems that I'm almost out of time here. I love that I fit all this in in one video, though. So, this has been the Smooth Terrorist. If you enjoyed this video and you don't want to see it disappear, then download it, re-upload it, uh, parody it, make it your own, because the folks at Google can't censor me unless you let them. Um, keep it smooth. <laughs>